Laura, my love, I'm happy you came. I thought you weren't coming today, babe. Hello, my love. I wanted to surprise you. Why, can't I come here to see my boyfriend? Of course you can come whenever you want. It's just that you don't usually come here. I know, but you also know why I can't come to see you. Please understand me. Yeah, yeah, I know that. I know your dad doesn't want us to be together. But we can't keep like this. I told you I am going to talk to your father if possible. No, no, please. We have already talked about it, Mike. Don't do that. Yes, we have talked about this. But you know I don't agree with that. I just don't get it. I know your father doesn't like me because I am poor. I am not a rich person like him or you. But I work hard every day to get all the things I promised you. I am not a bad guy. I know, I know. And of course, you're not a bad guy. It is just that, I don't know. My father always tells me that I have to go out with one of his friend's sons. They are rich people. Yes, you've told me that. But what's with that? Are you planning to go out with any of them? Of course not. You know I love you so much. I don't want any other man in my life. Then what is the matter? I want to talk to him to explain him my intentions. That's the right thing to do. I know, Mike. Please, just give me some time to explain him about the situation. This is not a situation, Laura. This is about you and I trying to be together. We love each other. And we're doing nothing wrong here. Your father will have to understand. You know how he is like. He overprotects me all the time and he won't let me be with you. What's more, if he finds out I'm seeing you, he won't let me out and I won't be able to see you. Please, just give me some more time. He will understand, but not now, please. Yeah, yeah, I'm really tired of this. All I want is to be with you, formally. We have been together for more than five years. We are not children anymore. Next year, you will go to college. And I will also study very soon. I promise. I'm going to study medicine and become one of the most important doctors in the country. I will do it for you, but also for me, because I want to have a family with you, believe me. I want to marry you someday and have children. That's what I want. Don't you want it to? Of course, I'd like that. But I can't tell my father you are my boyfriend, not for the moment. If I do that, he won't support me anymore, and I won't be able to go to college. Yeah, I know that. I'd like to help you economically, but you know I can't now. I have to work hard every day to pay the rent, food, 
and for my siblings to study at the school. My mother is sick, and my father, well, you already know that story, that bastard. But I promise, I promise one day I will have a lot of money. I will work hard for that. And your father will accept me as his son-in-law, I promise. Just wait, Laura. I know, baby. I know you're going to do all those things. I trust you. But for now, let's keep it a secret, okay? Promise you won't tell anyone. Promise that. Yeah, okay. I promise I won't tell anyone about our relationship. That's why I love you so much. You're so cute. I have to leave now. My father can see us. Yeah, I know. You don't live far from here. That's why I was surprised you came here. I love you so much, Laura. And I will work even harder now to have a beautiful life with you. I know. I know you'll do it. I have to go now. My father is waiting for me. We will go out. <laughs> okay, you can go. I will be here working all day, selling ice cream. I love you, Mike. One day, everyone will know how much I love you, my future husband. I will be waiting for that moment. Now, give me a kiss before you leave, please. Are you kidding? Of course not. My father could see us. Goodbye, Mike. Yeah, all right. Goodbye, my love. I will be thinking of you the whole day. Laura, hello, sweetheart. Where were you? I was waiting for you to go out together. Hi, Dad. Yeah, I went to buy something. That's why I took so long. Sorry. Oh, I see. I thought you were with your boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding? Of course not, Dad. I told you, I don't have a boyfriend. I know, I know. I know you have told me that many times. But it is hard to believe. I mean, you're young and so beautiful. It's difficult to believe you don't have a boyfriend. You know, all I'm thinking right now is about me studying at the best university, Dad. Yes, I know. And of course, you will study at the best university in the city. But please, if you have a boyfriend, or you like a boy, I would like to know who he is. I promise I won't judge him. I will be patient and a good father-in-law, okay? Stop it, Dad. I don't have a boyfriend, and I'm not interested in anyone right now. And of course, I won't be with any type of boy. Of course not. We have to choose well. A good boy, from a good family, and with money. That's what I have learned from you. No, no, no. I don't care about his social or economic condition. Of course not. I always tell you all I want for you is a good boy. A person who respects you and loves you. 
All I want is you to be happy. That's all. You are my princess. Yeah, all right. You always say that. Can we go now? I'm hungry. By the way, where are we going? To that restaurant I like? Please, let's go there. <laughs> of course we'll go there. We will go wherever you want, my princess. But first, we need to go to the park. I need to meet with one of my assistants there. Mr. Pickman, he has to give me some documents to sign. It will be quick. To the park? No, no, I prefer to stay here. I won't go. Oh, come on. It will just be a minute. Let's go. The driver is waiting. All right, we need to wait here. I am really thirsty. Do you want an ice cream? I'll buy one. No, Dad, I'm fine here. Please, let's go. I don't want to be here. Let's go, Dad. Wait, I want some ice cream. Hey, you, good afternoon. Can you give me... Laura, is that you? You came here with your dad? Finally, I knew it could happen. Laura, do you know this man? He says he's your boyfriend. What? Of course not. I don't know this idiot. He's an ice cream seller and a poor boy. I could never be girlfriend of someone like him. Stop joking, Dad. <laughs> Well, if you say so, then, hey you, kid, why do you say she's your love, huh? No, sir. I'm really sorry. I'm confused. I don't know you. My ex-girlfriend's name was Laura, too, but she was not like her. I'm sorry. Don't worry, we all make mistakes. Oh, there is Mr. Pickman. Be right back. So, what ice cream will you want me to sell you, lady? We have chocolate and... Mike, stop. Please forgive me. I didn't want this to happen, please. I didn't know we were going to be here, and you are my boyfriend. I'm really sorry. No, I used to have a girlfriend. Now I don't. Excuse me, this poor man has to keep working. Mike, wait, please, Mike. I didn't want this to happen, please. I'm really sorry, Mike. Please forgive me. Come here, Mike. I hope you liked this conversation. If you could improve your English a little more, please subscribe to the channel and share this video with a friend. And if you want to support this channel, you can join us or click on the super thanks button. Thank you very much for your support. Take care.